Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell so that when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. All right, so these are the two cards that wanted to come out for you. Two major arcanas, the chariot reversed and the moon. So we have Pisces energy here and Cancer energy. Is someone trying to wait? before I say this because I saw the eight of wands a lot with the page of cups circulating in your reading and the six of cups so I feel like someone is about to talk to you if they were holding back and they weren't saying anything you're about to get communication out of this person yeah you may be thinking that something's over and done with but the eight of cups is reversed here we also have the four of pentacles somebody is still hanging on to you but they're not saying anything they're doing a lot of thinking about you, a lot of reflecting about something that happened between the two of you. This could be a Virgo that you're dealing with, or this person is just, um, they are in solitude right now. I don't know if this person is trying to make you feel some type of way, Aquarius, and this is why they're not reaching out just yet. Because they already know that they're not going anywhere. The Eight of Cups is reversed and the Four of Pentacles is here. But I feel like this person likes for you to be in your head about them. Like they like to play um, like manipulative head games and make you think that they no longer want this when they know they do. So they withdraw and hold back communication. They go silent on you. This looks like someone who goes silent on you just to place doubt in your mind what messages do you have for Aquarius yep seven of swords just like I said someone who's being sneaky trying to act like they don't care we have the page of wands so this is someone who know they did you wrong though we have justice reverse so this could be a Libra for some of you who's ready to talk this person could be waiting for you to reach out first, but if you don't reach out and say anything, they're going to say something to you because I did see the Eight of Wands and I did see the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups repeatedly doing your pre-shuffle. So I'm like, okay, this is someone who's ready to talk or who will talk shortly, like very soon. You may get a text message from them. Somebody may even call you from an unknown number if you block them. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Yep, told you, Aquarius. The Knight of Cups is here. This person may feel like they owe you an apology. They may be a bit, I don't know if I want to say embarrassed because with the Knight of Cups, I sort of see, um, you know, with this horse's head being down and they're not looking straight on, maybe they know that um, somebody took things out of context and they got in their feelings and they may have caused an argument for no reason and they had some time to think about it with the seven of cups and the hermit and now they're realizing like i feel like this is someone who said a lot of things to you they may have said something to hurt your feelings and now you know since they've been thinking about it and realizing where they went wrong if this wasn't something that they said and this was something that they did I feel like this person sometimes um, sort of daydreams about you, maybe just wondering what you're up to, if you're thinking about them while they're holding back, being manipulative. <laughs> like, you know, is Aquarius thinking about me? The King of Cups. So this could be a water sign. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Yep. Well, I tell you one thing, if this person is trying to make you think they're walking away, they're not. The Six of Cups, not the Six of Cups, I'm sorry. The Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups is in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups is in the upright. So I feel like this person is going to try to come in and talk to you to see, you know, they may even try to sneak in. 
And if you've blocked them, then they're definitely going to try to contact you um, another way. But I don't see this as someone who's given up on this. That's for certain. What messages do you have for Aquarius? I was about to say Capricorn. Some of you may be dealing with Capricorn. So we have the Three of Wands, the Two of Yep, and the King of Pentacles came out right after I said, um, I was about to say Capricorn, but I meant to say Aquarius. Anyway, so with the Two of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands, this could be somebody who's waiting on you. They're like, oh, I'm just going to wait around for Aquarius to reach out and see, you know, if they say something first. But if you don't, here's this page of cups again. So don't let this person fool you. Like this argument or fight that you guys had, they've had a chance to think about things. Now, they may have tried to act like it, something was no big deal. Or maybe... um. I don't know if this person was acting like are they going to come back around trying to act like something was no big deal yeah whatever they said or did they're going to come back around trying to act like mm, you know it's not that deep and you're like no what you said hurt or what you did that hurt me so make sure you hold this person accountable Aquarius because they may try to come back and like oh you still mad about that Oh, you know, it's not that serious. Like, why are you so mad about that? I'm over that. And you'd be like, you should be over it because you're the one that caused it. But I feel like you may still be hanging on to something here. You may be like, I'm not over it. I'm still triggered. I feel like you're still triggered by something with this five of wands and the... um and the hangman and this person's going to come in and they may try to make light of it with the page of cups they may try to come in and offer you love and you know think that you forgot about what they said or what they did like no i didn't forget about it i'm just not saying anything because what i feel like you're like what am i going to say about it you know what you did what messages do you have for aquarius just expect communication from someone and if you block this person and they can't contact you, just know they're wanting to. Here it is right here, the Knight of Swords. There's something about you that they still love. You know, something about you that still makes them happy. You know, regardless of what you guys are going through, they still see you as someone they want to be with. That brings happiness and, you know, enjoyment in their life. This may be... Why am I picking up the energy that this person is bipolar? Like one minute, they're happy with you, Aquarius, and you guys are fine. And the next minute, they're pointing out all your flaws and everything that you're doing to piss them off. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, you was just cool with me yesterday. Now today, you pointing out all my flaws. Everything that I've done 99 years ago is bothering you today. <laughs> all right. If somebody is bipolar, that's not funny. I'm not making fun of their mental health. But I feel like this is how you're seeing the situation. Like, you can't believe it. You're like, what the hell? All right. So that could be an isolated situation. I don't feel like that's everyone's situation. But anyway, we have the nine of pentacles. We have the lovers, the judgment. Yeah, of course they're coming back in. This is how they see you. They not stupid. <laughs> they not dumb. Trust me. They're like, no, I have someone who is the Nine of Pentacles. They're independent. They're wealthy in their own right. They look good. They dress well. You got a nice car, a nice home, nice apartment. Good job. They're not letting you go. For one, there is still love here. And this person is having a wake-up call. This could be somebody having a wake-up call like, I need to treat her better or I need to treat him better before I lose them. So this is how this person is actually seeing you, Aquarius, even if they're not saying it and speaking up about it. So again, when I said, don't let this person fool you, don't. So if you need to hold out and you need to stand on business to let this person know to stop playing with you. And, you know, if they're bipolar, then maybe they need to go seek, you know, medical help, medical attention. Because you may be looking at it like it's not fair to me that this person keeps... 
I don't know if I want to say snapping out on you or doing certain things to you. They may even try to act like, you know, when you guys get into arguments, that it's your fault. I don't know why I'm picking up the energy of um, Leo with somebody. I mean, you may be dealing with a Leo that doesn't take accountability for something that they do all the time. And look what just flipped out the deck. The King of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. These two fell out of the deck. Um, They came out sort of sideways. So the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I'm just going to take them in the upright because they came out like this. But I feel like this King of Wands, for those of you who are dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, they still want to work on this. They're sort of trying to wait it out, though. I don't know what this person's actually waiting for. And with the Nine of Wands, I just feel like you're still guarded. Your energy, it's like you don't know how to take this person. You're like, I don't know how to feel. You may not know how to feel about the situation. Because you're like, okay, when I think things are good, they're not. And when I keep my guard up, this person tries to come and show me love and be around me and give me attention. And then we get into arguments and they act like everything is your fault. Yet, they still want to work on this. Speaking of work on this with the Eight of Pentacles, you may be working a lot right now to try to get your mind off of things or you may be thinking about this a lot while you're at work or they are with the eight of pentacles. This person may do a lot of overtime or they may have more than one job. They may leave one job and then go straight to another one. Somebody is um, trying to keep themselves busy so they don't think about things. Okay, so we do have change coming in. I oh, look what came out. The Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. I said regardless of the conflict that you have with this person, they're not going nowhere. They're not. So you can relax. I know you, Aquarius, you're like, I, I am relaxed. Like, I'm chilling. <laughs> like, I'm not worried about this person. Um, But yeah, the universe is saying you don't have to stress about this. There is going to be a turning point to the situation where you guys talk things through, work things out. Because there's still a lot of love here and compatibility. This is someone who's like, they're not giving you up. They're still attracted to you. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Aquarius. Thank you for watching my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.